Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day uh, to all students. So in this video, I will explain on how to interface uh, STM32 F103 with a uh, 7 segment uh, using a Proteus simulation. So we will write a program using a uh, bare metal simulator method and uh, to, uh, to interface the uh, BCD segment segment with uh, STM32. Okay, uh, so we will use uh, two BCD7 segment and these are display 1, 1 BCD and display 2, 1 uh, 7 segment BCD. Uh, so this uh, display 1, we connect to PB0, PB1, PB2 and PB3. And then display 2, PB4, PB5, PB6 and PB7. Okay, uh, to insert the BCD7 segment, just right click and then go to place component and then libraries and just type seven uh, segment and then click but, uh, to seven segment bcd and then click okay okay and then you arrange uh, your display in produce okay we need to display eh? uh, but uh, for the first program we want to write a program to display free running count up in the first digit only and eh? So just uh, we need just one display display one only so we want to write a program to count up from 0 to f 0 1 2 3 up to 9 and then go to a b c d e f okay okay this is the first program so uh so like like this eh? okay this one two three four five six seven eight nine a b c d e f and then continue back to zero okay this is the first program so the next program uh, we will mon uh, we will uh, monitor up to nine only and no a b c d so we just display uh, zero to nine and then back to zero okay for the first program so we count up uh, just count up and zero to f Okay, uh, so let's write the program. Uh, so we start our this uh, our program. Okay, so we start our program with a uh, comment. So you just write uh, any comment here, and uh, in this case, I write the example to a count up BCD seven segment a free running, and then we start with the uh, header include stm 2 f one o three, and then in the main program. So initialize the clock. So in this uh, example, we use uh, just use only uh, one uh, GPIO. This is GPIOP. So we write RCC APB2 and then register is equal to 08. And then we configure GPIOP0 to 7 as output. So in this uh, first uh, uh, example, uh, this example we just use uh, one display. So just uh, write GPIOB CRL 0x0000333 if you use uh, two display so you need to write here 3333 and then uh, declare the variable so this is our variable in this program we need uh, one counter and when variable counter to hold the value that uh, uh, increase uh, increment uh, count 0 to uh, 1 2 3 so we name it as a counter okay so this counter we start uh, uh, the counter with 0 and uh, the initial value of uh, counter is 0 and then in the while loop so we just type gpiob odr is equal to counter counter so we just dis display uh, first value uh, 0 uh, to the seven segment and then uh, this is a delay before go to the next okay, next next uh, number so we put uh, some delay and then we need to increment the counter so counter is equal to counter plus zero uh, x zero one so this uh, edit additional with uh, in the hex number zero x zero one so we use the hex number and uh, not uh, just only zero one so but we plus in the hex format Okay, zero x zero one. Okay, so uh, so this is our program. 
and then is a continue looping and so display PIOB ODR is equal to counter for uh, for this time uh, counter is equal to one and then display and then add the counter and then continuously uh, looping this uh, loop okay this is our program and then uh, we compile the program okay there is no error and then uh, run in the produce simulation okay display 0 to 9 and then continue with a b c d up to f and then back to 9 again and back to 0 again okay so if you want uh, to change the program this program eh, we just want to display the number not the character uh, so how to do this eh? Okay, please uh, try first and before I will explain how to write a program. So you can pause this video and then just do the program. And after that, I can check uh, with uh, uh, my program. Okay, in this uh, example, if you want to write just uh, uh, the number, not the character. So we need to, to compare to compare our counter uh, with the uh, 9 if counter is bigger than 9 it means uh, it's bigger than 9 when uh, when we, we count 9 plus 1 is equal to A character A so we need to uh, to uh, test if counter is bigger than 9 it means uh, A so we need to set back the counter counter uh, variable to 0 so counter is equal to 0 and then uh, it's continue loop, loop and then you will display 0 after 9 you display this 0 back okay if counter is less than uh, 9 so it's okay so it will uh, display the value of counter but when the counter is bigger than 9 so we need to change back to 0 Okay, uh, so we compile. And then we run in our produce. Okay, this time uh, it will count up to 9 and then uh, back to 0. No more character A, B, C, D or F. Okay, it's count up to 9 and then back again to 0. Okay. Okay, now we want to write the exercise B in the textbook. So in this ex exercise, we need to count from 9 to 0 so this is a countdown so we need to count down from 9 to 0 and then back back again to 9 so 9 to 0 and then back into 9 continuously okay in this case if when we want to uh, write the countdown so we need to start our counter from 0 okay our initial value of counter variable is uh, 9 we need to set our counter initial value to 9 okay then instead of we are using the add operation so we change it to the minus 1 operation okay because we need we want to count down and count down so you just change to a minus 1 operation and then we still need to test if our uh, if our uh, counter is equal to the character or not so we, uh, we, uh, we test is if counter is bigger than 9 so we need to set back our counter to initial value that is a 9 okay in this case the initial value is 9 okay so we run it this one and then uh, run in produce
Okay, it start from 9 and then 8, 7 up to increment down up to 0 and then back to 9. Okay. Okay, that's all uh, for today. So, we already covered how to do the count up and count down free running for one display only, one digit. So, we will continue next class uh, with a two digit count up and count down. Okay, thank you for your time and then see you again in the next class.